What's going on Virgo? Welcome to your reading for the middle of November 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, Virgo, we're going to take a look at your past, present, and future energies. And as we move through the reading, I will be clarifying the cards to get an even better idea of what's going on for you here in mid-November 2021. Keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate for you personally and leave behind the ones that do not resonate for you. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that this reading can reach all the Virgo people that it needs to. The more people that like, share, and comment on the video, the more that YouTube pushes it out, and that also helps me grow this channel. So without further ado, Virgo, let's go ahead and do four major shuffles for you and really pull the energy for what's going on here in mid-November 2021. As always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Virgo for mid-November 2021. Mid-month messages for the sign of Virgo, please. Mid-month messages for the sign of Virgo, please. Mid-month messages for the sign of Virgo, please. All right, Virgo, let's make sure that all these cards are in view for you here. Okay, Virgo, it's looking pretty good for you here. So let's go ahead and start off in your recent past here, Virgo. This top row up here is all about your recent past, okay? We have the Judgment card, the Seven of Cups, and also the Magician. Quite an interesting energy, super powerful energy here. Let's go ahead and start with this Judgment card for your recent past, Virgo. There's definitely a form of divine intervention that I'm sensing happening in your life here. It's almost like you're being cracked open to higher dimensions and, and understanding your life path from a different angle, right? The ego always tries to understand and cling to certain interpretations of how our life is unfolding. I sense in your recent past, you've had like a recalibration where spirit has kind of circumvented your mind to open it up to various possibilities of why the things that are happening to you are happening. I honestly sense intuitively you guys are, are something is happening where you really need to tame down your ego. I'm almost getting like the strength card vibes where it's almost like you're being like, it's almost like you're being tested by the universe is kind of what I sense here. You have the seven of cups right next to the judgment card. So there's a bunch of different pathways that are opening up for you about how you want to deal with a certain situation in your life. And I honestly feel like you can either take the high road or the low road. What I mean by that is like, I'm getting this feeling for you, Virgo, for some reason, like you almost want to get revenge on someone. And even if it's in a really subtle, immature way, right, this doesn't mean I don't think that you guys want to ca cause anyone harm, but it may just be that you want to prove your worth to someone or do something that is kind of like low vibrational because the high vibe way would just be to know that you're worthy just as you are here and now. So just be aware of that. There's definitely a choice and a judgment to make. Like spirit is definitely like guiding you to make the proper choice about a decision like this is all about a decision that you have to make in your recent past and you also have the magician card which shows you that you once again you have all the options that you need to manifest what you want you see all the the suit of the suits on the table for the magician so you have a lot of options at your disposal it seems like you're trying to manifest some sort of resolution to a certain situation here you also have the justice card right underneath the magician so i kind of sense in your life Virgo that you're dealing with like maybe you're dealing with a specific individual that you have a lot of conflict with that you're trying to figure out how do I resolve this situation and 
you have a lot of options as to how you're going to go about this resolution. I just feel that spirit has kind of been guiding you to the fact that you don't want to stoop to someone's level. I believe Albert Einstein once said that you can't solve a problem at the same level of thinking that the problem was generated. So you have to elevate your thinking to kind of solve a problem. And with the judgment card to the magician to the seven of cups in your recent past, I see you kind of opening yourself up to spiritual guidance about how you're going to deal with this one individual or this one pending situation. This could have to do with a legal case for some of you. Could have to do with a divorce, walking away from a partner. Maybe some of you even found out information about what someone is doing to you, but it's almost about this whole reading for so far is about taking the high road, okay? We're going to clarify in a second though, Virgo. And then in the present moment for you here in mid-November, Virgo, you have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and also the Justice card. So once again, with this Major Arcana Justice card, I just feel like you're, you're understanding that you have to take a road of ethical understanding and compassion for another person here. You have the Queen of Cups, which is all about a very mature energy. And for me, it's coming through as your own energy, the justice to the Queen of Cups here. Once again, I just feel like a lot of you are being tempted to stoop to someone's level, like someone's agitating you. This could be a boss at work. This could be one of your partners that they're trying to, they're, there's something that's bringing out all this ego, this negativity within you that you really are staying strong here, Virgo, in this situation. Now, the centerpiece to your reading here in a nine card spread, this is the centerpiece card. Some would say is the most important. You have the page of cu the page of swords here, rather, Virgo. So I definitely see you guys once again util utilizing your mental powers and investigating. This is kind of a heavy intellectual energy of gossip. Um, knowing what you want, though, as well, cutting through bullshit to get what you want. But it's almost like you're, you're you're debating with yourself, do I want to embody the Queen of Cups or the Page of Swords? These are kind of two different energies. I see you combining them to get to a point of justice. I hope that makes sense for you, Virgo, here. Because once again, I just feel like there's a temptation for you to take the high road. In this one row, you have the Judgment, Queen of Cups, Lovers. The very next to it, you have the Seven of um, Cups and the Page of Swords. So, there's these two different paths that I see for you, Virgo. One is loving, one is compassionate and realizing you don't want to stoop to another person's level. The other is kind of manipulative, scheming, or something that you would regret doing later. So I see that you're being tempted here, but I, I honestly feel like ultimately you're going to make a decision to go with the divine guidance, to not let someone screw you over. This could be competition with someone who you, maybe you're tempted to kind of like do something that would compromise your own integrity, but it's quite an interesting energy here, Virgo. We're going to clarify it in a second. Now, in your recent um, or your immediate future down below here, you have the lover's card, you have the three of wands, and you also have the five of pentacles here. So it's quite an interesting energy. You have the lovers to the three of wands here. So I see something opening up in terms of love here. This could be a new love avenue that opens up, right? The lover's card is all about soulmates, twin flame divine union here and to be honest it's like what's coming through in your immediate future is almost like depending on which energy you channel into this difficult situation you're dealing with that's going to determine the quality of partner that comes into your life i do feel like you guys are ripe for love okay that that you have a soulmate coming in but you have to be in that mode of going with your divine flow there's a certain decision that could put you off off the tracks right and kind of manifest a partner that's on a lower level it's almost like you can manifest a reflection of your higher self or you can manifest a reflection of your ego here because i do see new love coming in for you virgo here um, and then you have this five of pentacles in your immediate future so some of you may be dealing with a legal battle like maybe getting a ticket or losing a case that's going to set you back but ultimately you have what it takes to bounce back from the situation so i don't know virgo it's quite an interesting energy of divine intervention here so let's really get into your reading now and see what the hell is going on here because it's kind of an interesting like very intense energy right look at the major arcanas in this reading judgment magician justice lovers so there could be a choice in love here is what i'm getting as well like uh you know Maybe some of you finally have to walk away from someone, but ultimately it's about choosing a new lover, I sense, for a lot of you. Could be single out there. So let's see, Virgo. Let's go ahead and clarify this judgment card. This is the first card in your reading. Why the hell is this judgment card here for Virgo? 
This is in your recent past. Tell me more about this judgment card. Okay, so we have going with the flow popping out immediately. This is like the ace of cups. So this has to do with new love. This very well could be a soulmate relationship that's entering into your life here. But once again, it's all dependent on the choices that you make. But going with the flow, knowing that whatever divine like guidance or wisdom that you received, right, the judgment you have to make about a certain situation, trust that flow, trust that little voice inside of you that, that always is pointing you in the right direction, right? This is the flow, this is the voice of flow. So it may be a more quiet voice, it may be something, a gentle nudge, because spirit always, if spirit is never allowed to interfere with our own free will, and so that's why the spirit l lets us make choices. But you are being nudged to go with the flow of your life. You do have a flow built in, a destiny, you could say, woven into the pattern of your life. And I feel like that's what's opening up here. You're realizing you're, you're having a different perspective on the events in your life that maybe for a while you never understood why they happened. Now you're understanding why the painful past happened because it's helping you access your highest destiny and flow. So let's also clarify the seven of cups here. Once again, there's this feeling of you guys need to take the high road here, remain integrity with your spiritual, really embody everything that you do spiritually as well, right? Sometimes you could talk the talk, but when it, com when it comes to making a decision, that's when it's hard to stay in alignment but let's see why is the seven of cups here for virgo could be very well be a choice in love for you guys why is the seven of cups here for virgo in their recent past for mid-november all right we've got two cards jumping out of the deck here virgo we have the understanding card here Okay, so there's a choice that you have to make here. The Seven of Cups is all about making choices, weighing the options. Something's going to set you free here. And I feel like intuitively it's that gentle nudge from spirit. You guys know the choice that you have to make. And, you know, I, I keep saying the high road. Look at this card, right? The bird flying free with his friends or her friends up top. So once again, the way to get out of your cage, to get out of the situation, you have to go in, in alignment with your keeping your emotions integrity right maintaining that high vibration gratitude forgiveness compassion queen of cups energy here right you could be connecting with a water sign for some of you but you also have this ordinariness card this is like the eight of pentacles which really just says chop wood carry water right the ordinariness of life some people think that once you make a choice to free your soul oh my god you're going to be in bliss 24 7. the truth is before enlightenment chop wood carry water after enlightenment chop wood carry water right so there, there's this feeling of sinking into the ordinariness of life um and the ordinariness card for the seven of cups here what's intuitively coming through is once again there you're being tempted with a judgment that could severely put you off your your highest destiny and it's going to manifest in terms of lashing out of not if, if more so embodying this page of swords energy of gossiping of telling cursing someone out telling someone off but it's so it's coming from a place of shadow and ego so the ordinariness card to do the seven of cups is like the the choice of your highest destiny here virgo is not something that's going to be spicy it's not going to be a hot tamale type of experience it's going to be seeming mundane, but that mundane decision that you have to make dealing with your responsibilities is actually what's going to put you into the flow rather than kind of steeping down your vibration. Oh, I'm just going to get high. I'm just going to do this spicy activity. You know, you know what I'm trying to say here, Virgo. So there's, there's this feeling of sinking into what you know you have to do, even if it represents delaying short-term gratification. Okay, Virgo, let's also clarify this magician card for you what's this magician card doing here in your recent past i feel like once again it's you getting out of a certain situation finally making that choice but let's see why is the magician card here for virgo why is the magician card here for virgo Okay, so the magician is clarified by the friendliness card. This would definitely indicate a soul contract relationship. Okay, this is definitely coming into 
um, physical union with another human being, right? The Two of Cups to clarify the magician. So you guys are definitely trying to manifest new love here. Okay, so that kind of changes the orientation of this reading because we have the lovers. Now we have the Two of Cups and the magician. So there's this feeling of manifesting love here. And so the choice that you're making could very well have to do with love. I feel like some of you may even be being tempted to go with an individual that you know is not really good for your soul, that they just feed your ego, it's short-term gratification. I really feel like if you can hold out with this magician, set your intention to line up with your mirror, your soulmate, your twin flame, your divine counterpart, that's exactly what's gonna happen. But the page of swords to the seven of cups here, it's like there, there's someone in your life that you need to screen out, that you need to make a judgment against them. So this could be walking away from a certain relationship in a flow-like manner and being open to new love. So this definitely has to do with love. You know, it's kind of turning the way that this reading is going here, Virgo. So let's continue to move on to get more information. This is going to be the present moment for you um, in mid-November here. So let's go ahead and clarify this justice card. You know, what what is this justice card doing here? Some of you, it may be moving out of a place of um, not being with a partner. And so justice is here to show you that you're long overdue to manifest a divine counterpart. Like some of you may be feeling like you're, you're, you're finally making a judgment that says, I want to manifest love here, right? And, and then it's gonna come to you really fast because it's karma, right? It's what you deserve. It's the balancing forces of the universe. Right, if you've been single for a while, universe is all about expansion, so you're most likely to, to be with a person here. Let's clarify this justice card. Why is this justice card going on? Why is it here for Virgo? Why is this justice card here for Virgo? Okay, so we have the completion card here. So you're definitely ending a certain phase of your journey. Okay, the completion card, um, super powerful card to pull to the justice. So there's definitely, there's a conclusion here. Okay, and it's divinely intervent, it's, it's, it's divine intervention. The judgment card, I feel for you, was the little push from spirit saying, hey, you need to make a decision to close out a certain situation of your life. Now in the present moment here in, in, um, mid-November, it finally comes to a, clo a close, not only because of your own decision, but because of divine intervention, right? It's it's karma. There's a certain situation that's now coming to an end, the, the, the last puzzle piece that needed to drop. And I feel like this is, you're honestly like planting seeds to manifest new love here, Virgo. So there's a decision you have to make to get out of your old life, go with the flow, and realize you're in a new phase of your journey now, okay? Um, let's also clarify this Page of Swords because this is the centerpiece to your reading. Have the Lover's card here. So there's a big ending here for mid-November for you. Um, let's see though, why is the Page of Swords here? I feel like this is an aspect within you that's resisting your divine flow. This is the aspect of you that kind of just wants to keep things normal and see how the Page of Swords is kind of blindsiding the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, your eternal aspect is, is kind of turning the other cheek to the, to the inner realm of love and wisdom where the Page of Swords is like literally ready to chop her head off. So this, this could be an inner aspect of you that doesn't want the new, it doesn't want completion, it doesn't want flow. It wants, part of you wants to remain in your, in your destructive ways. It doesn't want new love, but the, the most of you does, but this is just that one part I sense for a lot of you. But I don't know, let's see. Let's see what Spirit has to say here. Okay, yeah, so the, pa the Page of Swords here is clarified by the Postponement card. Postponement. So there's definitely an, a certain action that you need to take here, um, but it's almost like you're postponing the completion of a certain cycle here. And so once again, that's why I thought it was like a negative aspect within your psyche, within your consciousness, that doesn't really want change. It's kind of what I sensed where you have a higher path that you can take, but if you lash out and you just go back into the old habits with the seven or with the seven of cups here and you make the improper choices, that those those are the choices of a postponement. So there may be a certain habit that you need to give up, a certain job that you need to quit, a certain relationship that you need to end so that you can tap into this 
this timeline of your highest destiny, right? So there's a cycle that needs to close out. Use that Queen of Cups flow, but don't postpone because look how the postponement face, the face is literally looking right at this completion card. So there's some part of you that doesn't want justice on your behalf, right? Things going into an upward spiral because they were in a negative one for so long investigate that part of you virgo that doesn't want to change there's something called um the motivational mechanism all human beings on planet earth on planet earth we move towards situations that we believe will bring us pleasure and we move away from situations that we believe will bring us pain but the key word there is belief because a lot of times what you believe will bring you pleasure is actually just a manifestation of your own negativity and it's just keeping you stuck and it's just short-term pleasure whereas the true pleasure would be lining up with your highest destiny here virgo and delaying short-term gratification and although it's pleasurable in the moment to make improper choices you know that you need to give up clear space so the postponement is afraid of the unknown there are it's afraid it's a part of you that's afraid of this new love right because the lovers here you have the completion card with the justice then immediately after that, you have the you have the, the lovers. So I'm getting chills as I'm saying that. There's definitely a new soulmate that wants to come through for you, Virgo. Let's clarify this lovers card, see what's going on. And this is a beautiful energy for your future here. But it's all dependent on you making the right choice, not postponing. Why is the lovers card here for Virgo? Yeah, so the lover's card is clarified by the creativity card, guys. This is like the empress card here. So there, there's a, there definitely is a soul contract, right? The magician to the two of cups, now the lovers to the empress, or the creativity card in this deck. There's, there, this is a relationship that wants both of the souls to come together in an organic way. This has nothing to do with ego. This is a creative process by the universe wanting two different consciousnesses to come together to experience that unique conglomerate flavor of union. And so whoever this person is for you that's now going to enter your life because of this completion and because of you making the correct choices no longer postponing this completion this is totally a soul contract this is someone that in your flow of your highest destiny you were getting in your recent past you were getting the inklings that this is coming to you you finally made the right choices and now it's here so be ready for this virgo i mean this is uh this is a soulmate type relationship let's clarify this three of wands as well this is you now in a good position solid making plans right um Let's see, why is the three of wands here? Travel plans. Maybe some of you aren't actually with this person. You need to make travel plans to kind of rearrange your life to be with this person now that this cycle is closing out. Why is the three of wands here for Virgo? Why is the three of wands here for Virgo? All right, we got two jumpers coming out of the deck here. Three jumpers. So the three of wands is clarified by courage. Okay, so you're going to have to be courageous to enter this new love with this person. It's it's not going to be easy for you, right? That's why you're trying to postpone it. There's a, there's a certain aspect of you that's going to be so scared of this, but it really is in your highest destiny, right? This is like the strength card. Once again, I it's amazing because I got the strength card energy in the beginning. You have to be strong to remain integrity with your soul to go on this high timeline rather than the ego. So courage here, okay? Um, you also have slowing down, slowing down and courage. So once again, it's the energy that I was sensing before where whatever choice that you're going to have to make here, a difficult decision that's going to put you on your higher timeline to finally go with this divine counterpart, it's not going to be that spicy, guys. It's not what you think it is. It's not like you make this decision and then your life is like you're in freaking Abu Dhabi on a cruise ship, on a yacht, drinking pina coladas and it's like this spicy amazing experience at first here it might seem like your life is falling apart like your life is slowing down virgo it's going to be 
the depreciation of what you've built up here. And then you also have the laziness card as the final card to clarify this um, three of wands for your future here. So the laziness card usually indicates spiritual bypassing, but when you combine it with the slowing down card here, I really feel like this is a message from spirit reminding you to go with your flow and don't force anything. This is actually coming through for you as more so advice where maybe it's okay to be lazy because I sense the problem that you guys had was not that you were lazy, it's that you were making decisions that compromised your own integrity. I'm gonna go drinking with these people, doing this drugs, eating this unhealthy food, going back with this relationship, staying in this job that I don't like. That's what, so it's a choice you're making that's compromising you. The solution is to do nothing, to have courage, to slow down and be a little bit lazy. I literally never give that definition to that card, guys. And now in your immediate future, you have this five of pentacles, and I feel like this is you feeling like an outsider on your new life. Now that a certain cycle is phased out and you're kind of about to enter a relationship with a soul contract, but it's still a little bit unknown, you're gonna be feeling like, oh my God, my old life was so much better. Those old habits that fed my ego and allowed me to postpone my highest destiny, that's way better. But guess what, guys? That is an illusion. It's just not true. It's a temporary experience that you have to go through through here Virgo so this is an amazing reading this really is a reading all about your destiny and your highest life path finally like you've heard the call so I I, I I give you props for that Virgo so let's get an Oracle message for you here um, to close off this reading this is going to be a message from your spirit guides and angels for you Virgo um, just some advice dealing with this guidance this major life shift so you know you have the justice whenever you have the 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 judgment and the justice card, you know things are going down. So let's see, Virgo, what, what's the advice from spirit for you here? Oracle message for Virgo, please. Oracle message for Virgo, please. Oracle message for Virgo, please. Okay, Virgo. So we have the we have the just say yes card. Okay? Yes. Just say yes. Say yes to your highest destiny here. Don't keep making the choices that are going to hold you down. So this is a yes to your soulmate, to this new love. I sense for a lot of you, you may not even know who this person is. You can just tune into the energy and know that once you close out the cycle, it's coming for you. So just say yes, Virgo, to your life here. Okay, I'm, I feel like that's the only one that I really called it. You know, no more postponing. Be a yes man. Be a yes woman. Be a yes soul say yes to life. Okay, Virgo. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, and you want more information on your current situation for mid-November, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find that in the description box of this YouTube video. You find that those readings are much more specific and accurate to your current situation, whereas the general readings will just give you glimpses. But to really get to the bottom of it, definitely feel free to book a session. With that being said, Virgo, I hope you enjoy your mid-November, and I'll talk to you next week on your next reading. Peace.